Uh, right now, many people are cleaning up from flash floods, hail and strong winds. Here's what it looked like last night when Main Street in Cambridge turned into a river. Crews across the street, uh, city are still assessing the damage. WCCO's Alan Henry shows us the cleanup efforts so far and what still needs to be done. The sound of chainsaws filled neighborhoods across Cambridge today after storms last night caused damage that will take days to clean up. Right now we're just working on cleanup and damage assessment. So we still have several crews throughout the city and we're just trying to get a full understanding of the problem and figure out what we can do to fix it. City Administrator Evan Vogel says the main issue was just how much rain was dumped during the two hour storm. And we experienced about five inches of rain over that period of time, which uh, overwhelmed the storm systems and led to some pretty severe flooding. It wasn't just flash flooding that was a concern last night. Strong winds brought down some big branches in several neighborhoods, which city crews started the process of cleaning up today. So we're just trying to also clean out those drains because I know we're expected for more rain here. So trying to get all the loose branches that kind of fell to clog up the drains to kind of clear them out a little more so we can get water to flow down there. In some cases, entire trees came down, like this one, which landed on Meg Schwanke's home. I had looked out the window, I went and sat down, and I heard a thud, and I thought it was thunder. Uh, it was not thunder. As the cleanup efforts continue, residents are still stunned by how quickly the damage was caused. The winds definitely were violent. I, mean, I have staff who have been on, on for 32 years with the city. They said they've never seen anything like this. In Cambridge, Alan Henry, WCCO 4 News. Stay on top of what's next by getting the CBS Minnesota weather app. It is free to download and includes live radar and alerts.